It is always better not to put the intraocular lens if a piece of nucleus drops into the vitreous cavity. We will see that in a short while. Pisident has occurred in this case and a piece of nucleus has dropped into the vitreous cavity. I have taken up this case for management after putting all the trockers and now I go into the vitreous cavity with cutter and light pipe. 5000 cuts per minute and vacuum is 200 millimeter of mercury. This is Faro's from Oatley Switzerland. I am using a contact lens, irrigating contact lens to visualize the retina. When I was in Shankaranetralaya in the 90s, irrigating contact lens was being used. And nowadays, we use other visualization systems, but in this case, I am using an irrigating contact lens. Antivitrectomy was done nicely at the first surgery and the nucleus management is being taken up after 2-3 days. When the corneal edema is less and visualization is better. So, after some more core vitrectomy, place the irrigating contact lens, and I can see the piece of nucleus over the macula. It is a hard nuclear piece and it is very difficult to remove by the cutter. And now already there is an wound of about 6 millimeter. So, I bring the piece anteriorly, place it in the anterior chamber, support it by the light pipe, remove the cutter. With keratome, I cut the suture. And then I open the wound. and I try to remove the piece through the opening. There is irrigation pressure and after little manipulation, the piece came out. If we have to do emulsification of this piece in the vitreous cavity, we have to do complete vitrectomy. But if we can remove this in this way, core vitrectomy is good enough. So, after removing the piece, I did some more vitrectomy for some more time. I checked if there is any small piece lying anywhere, looks clear, no air, no other piece is remaining. Looks fine. You cannot see the periphery well with this irrigating contact lens. So, my plan is to do thorough indirect ophthalmoscopy 
after the surgery, after two, three days. And now I come out, and now my plan is to put an intraocular lens in the sulcus. Since I have a 6 millimeter wound already, I put a PMMA lens of 6 millimeter. This is Liberty lens from Upper Sami Associates, and the PMMA lens is one haptic is placed in the sulcus. The other haptic I try to put in the sulcus, but it is over the iris. So, I take an instrument, it is an Y hook. The shape of the instrument is like the letter Y. I use this instrument to place the other haptic in the sulcus. And now, all the wounds are nicely closed. The main wound is closed with teno nylon. The sclerotomy wounds are self-sealed. And this is two releasable sutures to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. Thank you very much for your attention. The message I want to pass through this video is don't put intraocular lens if you have a piece of nucleus drop or whole nucleus drop. It is much easier to manage the case by the retina surgeon if you don't put the intraocular lens. If you put the intraocular lens, the retina surgeon has only one option to emulsify the nuclear piece in the vitreous cavity. But if you do not put the intraocular lens, the surgeon has two options. One option is to emulsify the nuclear piece in the vitreous cavity. The other one is to remove the nuclear piece through a sclerocorneal tunnel if it is already there or the surgeon can make a sclerocorneal wound during surgery and remove the piss. Thank you very much again for your attention.